Hello and welcome to the centre of the universe. Well, for wine lovers anyway. Yes, we're in the Bordeaux region of France for our very first river cruise. And what a way to begin this new chapter of cruising for Visit With Us, but here in the region that produces over 9,000 different wines on one of the finest river ships in the world, Uniworld's SS Bon Voyage. We'll be taking you around with us on Uniworld's brilliant Bordeaux itinerary and showing you not only this gorgeous landscape packed with chateaus, vineyards and ancient UNESCO World Heritage sites, but also what it's like to enjoy a week with one of the most awarded, luxurious and respected river cruise companies in the world. So, let's kick it all off. If you can can, please press that subscribe button and embark with us on a journey that is as fascinating as it is tasty. Yes, we drink lots of wine because that's what you do in Bordeaux. So once again, welcome. And as they say here in the UK, when we raise a glass, bottoms up. After a flurry of UK-based seacations and with continued restricted travel in place, summer 2021 presented us with a rare opportunity to try something new a Uniworld river cruise from beautiful Bordeaux in the Aquitaine region of southwest France. After a short flight from London, we arrived at Bordeaux Airport, where we were greeted by a Uniworld representative and taken to our coach for our transfer to the ship, the aptly named SS Bon Voyage. Docked in the heart of Bordeaux, the ship was ideally placed to explore this wonderful city, but there's no time for that now. We were far too excited to embark on the ship for an eager nose around. Having visited the wonderful Oysterbox Hotel in Durban, South Africa, part of Uniworld's sister brand, the Red Carnation Hotel Group, and having watched Jane McDonald's trip on the Uniworld SS Maria Theresa, we knew that the decor of our home for the next week could never be described as subtly understated. Upon entering the reception area, it was impossible to ignore the opulent design and grandeur, with large ornate vases housing the most magnificent display of fresh sunflowers ever, glossy wooden walls and reception desks that had been polished to within an inch of their life, French polished perhaps, and a stunning wall mosaic depicting a typical French countryside scene. We couldn't wait to explore the rest of the ship. Hmm. In fact, for our resultant detailed ship tour video, please click the link at the end of this video or click the one in the top right hand corner now and you'll see the ship in much more detail. And while we have your attention, forgive me, but we're going to cheekily mention our travel partners Panache Cruises, who with Uniworld made this trip possible. If you enjoy this video and are interested in knowing more about Uniworld, our preferred travel partner is Panache Cruises, the elite ocean, expedition, river and yacht style cruising specialists. The team at Panache have decades of combined knowledge and experience in finding the right cruise for you. For a completely personal service, their dedicated cruise connoisseurs will be at your side right from the initial inquiry until you get back from your dream cruise. They will help you with every aspect of your holiday, no question too big, no detail too small. Call them now on this number or visit their beautiful website to make your next dream cruise, like the one we have just taken on SS Bon Voyage, a reality. Now, where were we? Ah yes, our home for the week, Suite 303 on the topmost Bordeaux deck. OK, let's get the negative out of the way first, shall we? These rooms are on the cosy side. At 140 square feet, these French balcony rooms are actually smaller than the lower category rooms, the deluxe on Medoc deck and the classic on the lowest Beaujolais deck, both at 151 square feet. But both of those don't benefit from having a French balcony. Compare this room with similar French balcony rooms on board Uniworld's other ships in the fleet. On the brand new SS Sao Gabriel, you'll enjoy 156 square feet of space and on the SS Maria Theresa, a French balcony room would give you a relative Nebuchadnezzar of space, a whopping 194 square feet. 
If you need more room on SS Bon Voyage, there are two incredibly handsome suites on Bordeaux deck that offer 210 square feet. There are only two though, and of course they come at an extra cost. For the ultimate in size and opulence on board this ship, there are two grand suites, and these are 280 square feet of opulent furnishings, delicious decor, and the most marbly bathrooms you've ever seen. They even have a TV that drops down from the ceiling over your head, and far too many extras to mention in the time we have here. Have a look at these images. It's like being in a guest suite of a decadent French palace. Whichever you choose, each room is beautifully appointed with plenty of storage, luscious furnishings and these exquisite Savoir beds, the English company who famously make beds for the Savoy Hotel in London. Each bed Savoir makes is a bespoke one of a kind and handmade by a single craftsman for each and every Uniworld suite and room. The walls are enrobed in this beautiful fabric and feel warm and padded. In fact, this is the very first room we've stayed in with soft walls. The bathroom is lavishly lined with marble tiles and countertops and a relatively spacious shower. However, as Yoda once said, size matters not. And all of this is forgiven as soon as you set sail and you throw open those sliding patio doors lay down on this sumptuously soft handmade mattress adorned with Egyptian fine cotton bed linen and watch the French countryside glide gently by from the comfort of your perfectly positioned bed. During that evening's talk by Thierry, the cruise director, the ship quietly slipped its ropes and set sail for our first stop of the cruise, the little village called Blay, located about 30 miles from Bordeaux at the intersection of the Dordogne and Garonne rivers. It was soon time for dinner in the downstairs restaurant, the joyfully named Le Grand Fromage. Normally every meal is open seating allowing guests to eat when and with whom they would like, but due to current Covid restrictions, all passengers were allocated to a table in the restaurant that would be their permanent table for all meals throughout the voyage. Hmm, luckily we bagged this window seat. The dinner menu offered four courses with a choice of three or four options on every course including some rather lovely vegetarian options. Overall, we found the food on SS Bon Voyage to be some of the best we have ever had on a cruise, which, given the size of the ship, is quite an achievement. Despite the ship having a capacity to accommodate 124 passengers, it was only just over half full for our voyage, but this didn't mean that they had cut back on the variety or quality of the food on offer. We finished our evening meal just in time to make our way back up to the top deck to catch the first of many beautiful sunsets we would witness over the coming week. 
Already we were loving the ease at which we could get to anywhere on the ship within just a few minutes. At the end of our first day, on our first ever river cruise, yeah, we could get very used to this. Thank you.